Hey Philip, hey Sammy, it's Tuesday, July 12th, and this video, just like this pair of glasses I wore last Halloween, comes to you in two parts. Okay, part one, Pokemon Go. Now the world has gone nuts for this, so I'd be remiss not to mention it at all, but I'm pretty sure Philip will gonna cover it in more detail later. Though this really buggy game is not bad, one of the best parts that come out of it is just the social aspect. Every time you drop a Pokemon lore, you'll find hundreds of people just show up just like that, and the world is taken over by the nerds! Not to mention all the extra exercises people get. I mean, people have been walking like 10, 20, 30, 50k every day just to train some Pokemon. Also, where else will you hear, hey, let's all go to the gym together. I go to the gym. I can do push-ups. Here, here, look. See? That counts, right? Also, I like the area dependence, that different Pokemon show up in different areas. Not to mention the fact that me and our friends are just going to go right after this to go look for some more Pokemon. We'll probably go to the stable, see if we can find a Rapidash. I mean, until the police probably show up and wonder what we're doing there. Hey, what are you doing here? Why are you breaking into the stables? Um, 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 uh, we, we, we're just looking for some Pokemon? Well, you better not be on that blue team. This is yellow area. I can hear Moose in the other room. I think that he's coming. Okay, part two. Don't buy Dory Fish! Now that most of you who know me personally will know that Finding Nemo is actually one of my favorite movies of all time. And uh, even though I hate sequels, Finding Dory was... Pretty freaking awesome. Like, it wasn't as good as the first one, but it was still very good. Here's the thing, after Finding Nemo came out, the amount of clownfish being purchased skyrocketed. I mean, over a million of these endangered fish are purchased every year. 90% of them caught in the wild. And now that Finding Dory came out, Blue Tang's gonna be on the table too, and everybody's gonna want one of those. Chest kept swimming. The problem with people having Blue Tanks is, one, they grow out to be bigger than a foot. This is too big for most people's private aquariums. And two, they're... Abundant proliferators? Like, the stereotype about rabbits does not cover how much of an abundant proliferator a blue tang is. The problem is, in the wild, that's okay because there's lots of things to eat them, but in a fish tank? Not so much. And then people throw them away, and they die, and it's really sad. That's why I'm donating to support SavingNemo.org, link in the doobly-doo. They're a group of conservators and breeders who work together to maintain the population of both domestic and wild, blue tangs and clownfish alike. I hope that you'll help me support them as well. Philip, Sammy, that's it. I gotta go.